Schramsburg Winery was founded in 1862 by Jacob Schram. In 1965, my parents revived the property with the idea of, of, of truly making world-class sparkling wines. In 1987, some 22 years later, they would make the first bottling of J. Schramm. Really, the, the idea behind the wine is, is that this would be a wine where, where no care is omitted, no corners are cut. And, and we focus on Chardonnay, as we do with our Blanc de Blanc, but here, just on the very best lots, to make a wine that will, will age beautifully, uh, that will, will have the length and drive uh, and character of, of the finest sparkling wines made in the world. The J. Schramm style is truly age-worthy. We start with Chardonnay. Chardonnay is, is more linear. Chardonnay is, is, is crisp. It, it, it has a tremendous backbone. Paramount is very high levels of acidity that, that comes from fruit grown in these cool coastal zones. It will age beautifully in the bottle as well because the carbon dioxide gas, the effervescence in the wine, will inhibit some of the impact of oxygen, which causes uh, the wine to age. So you're gonna see a very gentle process inside the bottle where flavors will caramelize, will season, and, and, and develop very gently over the course of 20, 30, perhaps even more years. Initially, we actually called the wine Cuvée X, as we weren't sure what the, the name of the wine was ultimately going to be. But we didn't have to decide because we knew we'd have to wait for a period of five years before the, the wine would eventually be released. In subsequent years, uh, you know, the, the naming uh, the process would unfold, and ultimately the team decided to call the wine J. Schramm. In the, in the fall of 1992, when the 1987 J. Schramm was released. That was the first vintage that we would make. My parents really wanted to give the wine a, a platform, an opportunity for, for it to, to, to truly be launched. And so they went to London. They staged uh, Paris tasting, so to speak, so that blind competitive tasting where, where a, a range of French champagnes would be lined up uh, in addition to this California sparkling wine. Uh, they loved to tell the story of, of how the very first vintage of J. Schramm won the blind tasting in, in London. It's an honor to be able to continue on making the J. Schramm. The winemaking team with my parents set out to, to set a new high bar of, of, of quality for us here at Schramsburg. We've made nearly every vintage since and have made one ever since 1995. Uh, again, that wine where, where no care is omitted, where no, no corner is cut, where we're, we're looking to, to really make the most remarkable bottle that we possibly can. And as the years have passed, we've been able to re-release some, some bottlings uh, with even more age. We're gradually re receiving greater recognition for the ageability of the style, and I feel as if the uh, the gut instinct that my parents had going back to 1965 when they started this is truly starting to come around.